everybody and welcome back to the feral family vlogs if you are new here welcome to our channel if you are a returning subscriber welcome, welcome back, back. <laughs> um it's about noon time we're barely getting um brunch ready um let me show you guys what i'm making my daughter made some shredded potatoes with Spam, and then I'm making, this is a tortilla, I'm just frying it in some vegetable oil, it's called, the thing I'm making is called chilequiles, I think that's how I'm saying it right. We should try this tomorrow, Mom. Yesterday I tried it and oh my god, it was so good. But all you need is tortillas, vegetable oil, and a can of jalapeno sauce, cheese. You can use any kind of cheese. Yesterday I used this one and it was super spicy. But today I'm using the green can and I'm going to add some eggs to this. Once you want to cook the tortillas to where they're crispy because once you add in the sauce, it's just going to get soggy. So you're going to want it to be extra crispy. So let me finish cooking these and I'll show you guys when I'm adding the other stuff. Okay, this is how it's looking. See how they're nice and toasty? That's how you want it. Now, I am going to add the eggs. There's the eggs. And then after the eggs, I'm going to add the sauce. I need a spatula for this. Oy, 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 where's that other one? Hold on. Can you guys cut it out, please? Look, they're always fighting. My boys cannot get along if it were to save their life. You can do this without eggs too. Um, yesterday I made it without eggs and it was still delicious. I wanted to do eggs today to see how it tastes. What? I said without eating it. What? So, you want to make sure all the eggs are cooked well depending on how you like your eggs you can um i like scrambled eggs i can't have um what do you call it sunny side up eggs where you still have yolk in it i don't know i i never really like the taste of yolk so i usually just do um scrambled eggs and then you add the sauce. Oh my god, I can't wait to try this. I'm gonna use the whole sauce. Turn it down a little bit. And then just kind of get it all over the tortas and the eggs. If you guys like spicy food, you will love this. And then I'm just adding Fiesta blend cheese. You can use mozzarella, you can use um, whatever cheese you want. You can even use the 
what do they call that? Oh, other cheese. No, remember the one that's uh, like a powdery? No. My daughter's going to give you guys her thoughts. It was the first time she's having this. And not the second time I've eaten on the camera. <laughs> it's good. I love it. Mama, food is still hot. Can I just eat it with it hot? You like it? Okay. There's my plate. <laughs> Stop filming. Okay, hi guys. It's evening time now. It's about 5.30. I'm getting ready to make dinner. And you guys are going to make curry chicken with me tonight. So you're going to need some chicken breasts. I prefer the boneless, skinless chicken breast. Okay, you're gonna need an onion. I prefer yellow onion. And you're gonna need bell peppers. You're also gonna need rice, soy sauce, um, curry powder. What else do I use? But I usually put vegetable oil in a pan first. Let that heat up and then I dice up the onions and I put it in there. But I'll show you guys the process. Okay, so I'm just sauteing the onions. You want to cook it until it's um, a little bit golden. So while that's sauteing, I'm cutting up the chicken. You just want to cut these in bite sizes. So let me do that real quick. Okay, now the chicken is in. I'm just going to add the seasoning with one hand. I usually put some of this in there. Sprinkle it all over. I got this recipe from my mother-in-law and my husband, my kids' favorite, all of us' favorite. We're just going to let this cook slowly. I have the heat on medium. And then the rice, we cook it when this is almost done. And I also make dough for tortillas. You can have it just with rice and this, but we like to add tortillas. So I'll let that cook. Wow, my daughter is chopping up the bell peppers. I'm just going to let that a little bit and I'll show you the other seasonings I put in now that it's white chickens white you're gonna add soy sauce I usually do maybe about half a cup let that simmer some more And then 
and put the lid back on and then I'm gonna start my tortillas okay now you're gonna add your bell peppers which I already did and then this is where you add your curry powder I usually just I don't measure I just go by what I see. I probably use about mm, four tablespoons. You want to mix it up real good. Oh my bread. I got to put up the rice now too because this is going to be done in about. 15 minutes. It doesn't take that long. I think the only part is cutting everything up. I usually cut up the onions and chicken first because that goes in first. And then um, I cut up the bell peppers, but my daughter always helps me with that. So I just want to mix that up real good. And I didn't use the whole chicken pot. I only used about four strips. I think there's six pieces in there, but I only used four strips depending on how many people you have in the household. If it's just you by yourself, I think all you'll need is one, one and a half chicken strips or the chicken breasts. Mix that up really good again. And then you just want to keep the juice from the chicken and everything in there because that's what gives it the taste. So we're going to let that cook a little bit more. Cover it back up and then I'm going to put up the rice in a minute. Okay, so this is done. Should look like this. You can add um, diced up tomatoes too. Um, if you are, you would add it um, about 10 minutes before <clears throat> you shut it off. And you just want to let it cook for about maybe 5 minutes. Then you shut it off, but I'm making the rice now. We had no more regular rice, so I'm using jasmine rice. And there's the bread. So, if you guys remake this, let me know and tell me what you think. I'll get the bite impression when it's all done. Okay, don't do that, baby. <clears throat> How's the food? Good. It's good. So, the kids approve. Oh, sweetie. This is the first time we used jasmine rice. And it actually brings out the taste more. <laughs> but that's going to conclude our video. I forgot to do an outro. My battery died right after I said that's going to conclude our video. But um, I just wanted to say thank you to those of you who reached out and commented on the last video um you guys gave me words of encouragement and you guys made me feel like i have a purpose when i do vlogs and i never knew there was so many people from different places watching and that really made me feel um happy and I just love the comments you guys leave me of you know just hanging in there and words of encouragement and stuff like that so I appreciate each and every one of you and I appreciate you guys for subscribing and watching and um 
tomorrow I want to take the kids to go do something outdoors. Maybe we'll go to Gwendo Glitters. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I'm doing a lot better. Um, each day is different. I just have to, you know, wake up and say to myself, today's going to be a good day. Today's going to be better than yesterday. So I give myself that speech every morning and it makes me feel better. So um, I'm going to continue doing that. And I hope you guys had a good week. Um, I hope you guys have a good weekend. And I'll see you guys on the next video. So thank you for watching and have a good night. Stay warm. Um, be safe. And remember, you grow through what you go through. So remember that. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Good night. Hug on it.